quite an interesting story that I found here on lightreading.com. This one is from author Mike Dano. WCO's Winnick takes huge swing at T-Mobile. You should be ashamed. Whoa. All right, so that coming out with some venom here. Let's see what this is about. The founder of private investment firm WCO Spectrum. Harsh words for T-Mobile's management Thursday. You are confused and you should be ashamed of yourself. What is this in regards to? Okay, this has to do with the 2.5 gigahertz spectrum licenses that T-Mobile leases for its 5G network. That would be the capacity layer known as 5G UC N41. There are a lot of instances where T-Mobile does not own or operate those leases on its own accord, but actually it's a situation where they lease them from different educational facilities uh, as well as some churches and DSCs, and they have leasing terms. Uh, And because of that, they are subjected to the terms that they come to agreements with each one of these individual entities. And uh, T-Mobile has been doing a lot to try to prevent those terms from those leases getting to other institutions, holdings companies, so that way they could potentially buy and purchase those spectrum licenses from the educational facilities, the schools, the churches, and then they could lease it to T-Mobile for more money. Uh, It says here, you should not be subject to the intimidation and bullying that T-Mobile has been imposing upon dozens and dozens of you, speaking to the the holders of the licenses. He continued, one of the more appalling things that I've seen to date is concerted effort applied by T-Mobile and their legal counsel to dozens, if not over 100 license holders, advising you that you should not conform to an American law, the Freedom of Information Act which provides every single one of us as Americans the right to have public information available to us about our public institutions. So directly in regards to T-Mobile trying to prevent any of the terms and information about the leases to other entities who want to potentially buy the Spectrum licenses from schools. Uh, Here's the, the man, WCO's Gary Winnick. Primary goal to be the spectrum landlord for the entire wireless industry, not just T-Mobile. All right, that's what WCO is trying to do. Uh, they want to lease and sell spectrum licenses to others, and T-Mobile is essentially getting in the way. Okay, so uh, Winnick returned to telco industry back in 2020. He's been in the industry before. Uh, Winnick is worth about $2.2 billion, so this is a very wealthy man who is in the in the business, he's in the industry. It says here, T-Mobile has been competing with WCO for many of the licenses. WCO recently scored its first victory against the operator, according to Light Reading. The agreement with WCO was for 2.5 gigahertz license from the Owasso Public School District. Uh, this is in Oklahoma, and the midband spectrum license for use on the 5G network. The company has made offers on around 10 of the 2.5 gigahertz licenses. T-Mobile has exercised its right of refusal to purchase the license on all except the Owasso license. The company estimates there's roughly $10 billion worth of 2.5 gigahertz licenses that could be acquired by T-Mobile, WCO, or another company. He said, or this is from Carl Catterndall from WCO. He's a managing partner. He said, we really want to own Spectrum and leases. And Lisa, excuse me. All right, this is so, so messy. <laughs> uh, in, a, in a message from Winnick to T-Mobile, tell your lawyers to go back to their offices and find somebody else to sue because these are not right victims. Okay, so people are trying to be uh, play the victimization role here. It says here, we're not going to allow some mid-level people at T-Mobile to go out there and tell you nonprofits who are entrusted with our children's education. They should not do business with us because we're not real. We're not going to allow it to happen. So T-Mobile is trying to prevent WCO from getting involved in the purchase and the, you know, the ownership of these licenses because what's going to end up happening is they're going to have to pay a lot more money. This company is in the business of making money, and that's the situation. <laughs> uh, so... T-Mobile is operating in its best interest, which is pay the least amount of money for these types of spectrum assets. You know, they want to be able to run their their network for as cheap and lowest cost as possible. And this company, WCO, is coming in, swooping in, trying to make these deals to own the licenses and then lease it to T-Mobile 
And that's going to drive up the pricing because WCO knows what they're what they're worth, their long term investments. And uh, T-Mobile's like, nah, dude, we got to prevent this from happening. Uh, but they can't. T-Mobile really cannot. They can't stop this from happening. Uh, this is a messy situation. Uh, looks bad from a political standpoint, I suppose, as they jockey for perceptive, uh, you know, viewpoints and how they look in the public. Uh, but honestly, just based on the way our economic system works in the open market and the rules to the spectrum, you know, WCO hasn't done anything wrong per se. I've always said that I wish T-Mobile the best when it comes to owning and operating the spectrum. So that way they have uniform capacity across the entire country. But this is a situation where just because of the rules and the way things have played out for the last several decades, they're just subjected to this. Hey, you knew what you were getting into T-Mobile when you bought Sprint and you went on this 2.5 gigahertz spectrum. This is a mess and this is just what they have to deal with. Sucks to suck, I guess. Uh, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter. Also, my Patreon page is linked as well. You can support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Also, uh, all business inquiries can be sent to the Gmail address in the description. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.